I feel like the top of my head has exploded because the damage in the back is massive. People further north in our viewing area are still cleaning up the big mess as well left by the storms. This is video from the Tryon and Lake Lanier areas where huge trees toppled over. At this hour, there are over a thousand Duke Energy customers without power in that area. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith spent the day talking to people now dealing with the aftermath. She shows you how families are coping. This is West Lakeshore Drive. It's right by Lake Lanier. You can see trees down, power lines down, crews working to get the power restored, get everything back to normal here. And it's just a taste of what the folks in this area have experienced. A whirlwind of an experience for Marilyn Doheny. Just as I turned the corner heading down Chestnut, my car like lifted off the ground. And I thought, I'm hallucinating. When she got back to Tryon's Melrose Inn, yeah, there's another dead chicken right there. She says the disbelief continued. I kept saying, oh my God, oh my God. Gazebos were tossed like toys, and downed trees revealed a starkly different view for her guests. I just had a lot of construction done in the back. Feet away from the home on Melrose Avenue, residents surveyed the damage on Packlet Street. Just like a path of destruction throughout our little towns. Power outages shut off traffic lights and closed businesses. I have my little lantern and I'm reading by flashlight. Try on Fire Chief Jeffrey Tennant. Uncontrolled chaos. He says the downtown and residential parts of Tryon were hit hardest along with the Lake Lanier neighborhood. The only thing with, that I can compare to in my experience is the blizzard in 93 that we had, but we don't have snow. I feel empty inside. And yet I feel like I'm, I've got this emotional turmoil just sitting there. Like I really want to have a good cry or scream. And as bad as things are, and even as severe as the damage may seem, the fire chief tells us there have not been reports of people being seriously hurt as a result of all the storms. Reporting at Lake Lanier, Nikkel Smith, 7 News. The fire chief says crews will be back out in Tryon tomorrow assessing the storm damage.